Jimdo tutorial, how to create a free website using Jimdo. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can create your free website using jimdo.com and if this is a good enough website builder for you. So let's get into it. First off, we're going, we going to click on let's get started for free and then we are going to sign up and create our account on Jimdo. I am going to continue with my Google account. You can continue with any of the account the accounts that you use. So you can use Facebook, you can use your Apple account, you can use your Gmail account, whatever you prefer. So once you have signed on to Jimdo, now Jimdo is going to give you this questionnaire for what kind of website that you want to create. So now if you're a coding expert, you, you would opt for this route, but obviously this video is for beginners and how you can easily cr create your website without having to code anything. If you have no experience in coding, we're gonna click on start now. And now you're going to be asked a few questions regarding what kind of website you're creating. You can skip this, but I recommend that you actually answer these questions to have a optimized uh, experience on Jimdo. So let's just say I'm creating this for myself and this is a new business. And now you're going to name your business. So let's just say Jane's Bowtie, Jane's Scrunchies. And now you can see what kind of listing you want. But um, if you already have a business listing on your Google account, you can add that over here, especially if you have a pop-up store somewhere or you're running campaigns in a physical area. So you can definitely add that over here as well. This is a uh, separate business, so I'm not going to link it. Now, you can optimize the goals of your website. So if you want to promote your physical business, if you want to showcase your work, get online bookings or sell online. So the purpose I want to do this for is to sell online, promote a physical, showcase my work. And now I will create these products myself. Now you can add where you offer these on so if these are physical products if these are available on craft fairs or markets if they're available on social media if you directly sell if you sell on etsy or amazon if you're featured in a physical store if you have a shelf space like in sephora or some other larger retailer so we're going to continue like so and then you can select the kind of customer base that you're trying to attract so you can select that and now you can add photos. I'm going to skip this. You can even link your Instagram to add more photos. And now let's see accessories. We're going to continue. And now you're going to be asked about the style that you want for your website. So for me, I want a elegant style. And now you can see some of the color schemes that you might like. I like this one and I'm going to continue. And now Jimdo is optimizing a good website template or preview for me to get started on. So you can see this is these are the two suggestions that Jimdo has made for me. And I am just going to opt for this one. I really do like this and I'm going to continue. You can even start from scratch. And that is just something that I would suggest that if you have a lot of time you can do, but if you're on a time scrunch, then it's definitely best if you use one of their templates. Now, you can select one of the domains that they have provided, and these are all free domains, and they're pretty decent domains because you can see that all of these are, you know, .com domains, .net domains, any of those, and you can browse more options or even choose your domain name later. So let's just say I actually like this scrunchies.net and now i'm going to create my website and continue without a custom domain now if you want to create your e-commerce store then you're not going to be able to do that for free on jimdo you can only create free websites not free stores on jimdo so that's something to keep in mind and it's best if you create your website on jimdo and then link your equid store or your shopify store to jimdo to sell your products now my website is being built so we're just going to wait until our template loads now, as you guys can see, this is what our website is looking like currently, and you can see it functions very much like any other website builder. So you have different sections within your website, 
and if you want to edit a section you're going to click on it and then you're going to have this white toolbox appear and you can start editing that section so if you want to change the general look of the text you're just going to click the text and you can change that you can also change the alignment of your text so if you want it to be left aligned if you want it to be right or if you want it to be centered so i prefer it actually to be left aligned and you can also change the style so if you want it to be a heading a small heading or just normal text then you can add lists and also insert a link within your text now to move your headers or design your headers you can see over here you have a show elements uh, box over here and then you have a block design so if you click on block design, you can add the uh, change the general design of the entire block. So if you change the layout of your block, it's going to apply to your entire block. So if you select this, your top tab or your top block is going to look like this, your top navigation bar. So I will make it like so. And you can see you can make it transparent or you can make it a solid color. I prefer it to be a solid color. And I'm going to make it black. So depending on what I like most, I like this kind of design. And I'm going to click on done. Once I have done that, I can click on show elements. And I can see a logo, primary button, and text. So I can also link any of my social medias. For example, my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, WhatsApp, or LinkedIn over here as well. And you can add a logo for your um, website as well and you can add your image and zoom it in or zoom it out now I don't have a image for this but um, you can add if you can add that if you have it if you want to delete something you're just gonna click on it and then you're gonna click on show elements and we're gonna select logo once more deselect it and then the logo icon has disappeared now if you want to add a block to your website what you're going to do is for example just below your navigation bar you want a thank you for visiting um page so what you're going to do is you're going to click you're going to hover your mouse and you're going to see this add block option and whenever you see it it's going to add the block right between those two sections so at the top you're going to click on add block then you can select what kind of block you want to add so it could be a cover block about block news block text image slides slideshow column list banner music booking menu or contact block so we're going to add a text block and you can select from any of the different text blocks available i'm going to go with a simple block like so and then you have your new block added now you can change the color the style the general look of the text as well like so and if you click on these three dots over here you can delete this section or you can move it up and down so if you want to even duplicate it you can also do that so if you might want to add this to the bottom of your page as well so you can duplicate it and move it down now in terms of just general style you can even add more title text more images or videos within this block and then you can add a primary or secondary button so you can add a donate button or whatever kind of website you're running so you can align it wherever you like it and then add a secondary button for newsletters like this and you can move it to the other side Think this looks good like so you're just going to keep on designing until you like what you have designed and once you have designed it to your personal preference or your uh, general aesthetic that you're trying to follow you're just going to click on publish now just a last design element i would like to mention is if you click on design over here you can change the general color theme the font set and the button style so if you want oval buttons round buttons, sharp buttons, and this is going to apply to your entire website and it's going to make it look consistent throughout and that is something to keep in mind while editing text and other things. So once you have done that, you're just going to click on publish and just like that, you have your website live. We're just going to wait for it to load and you can see that our website has been created it looks very professional and it doesn't look like something that was created by someone who has no experience in coding or anything like that now for uh generally jimdo can only create websites that are focused on uh website like most website builders 
create websites that can not sell e sell sell items or you know you can't really create a e-commerce store from most website developers they uh, they limit you in that category but you can select your products add products and start selling on jimdo so you can just add the images for your product and start selling them on your jimdo website which i found to be a great feature as compared to maybe a lot of other website developers that offer their free services but if, even if you don't like the jimdo platform for your e-commerce store because sometimes that can be pricey to run your e-commerce store on jimdo i would suggest that you create your e-commerce store on equid because that uh, that platform is absolutely free and it's pretty decent in creating e-commerce stores and then you can just link it over here on your website now you can see this is what our website looks like and uh, even at the bottom page till here it looks very good and the issue with the free website is that sometimes ads can pop up and that can be pretty annoying but other than that i find it to be very very decent in terms of development and general aesthetic now taking a look at their price points you can see that all basic features are available for free and you can get the subdomain of jimdosite.com for free as well if you want to create your personal website and you want it to be ad free so if you don't want any ads on your website it's going to be nine dollars per month and then you can also get a free domain so it's a lot of those really nice domains are available on sites like jimdo and then on the grow version that is fifteen dollars a month you get a search engine optimization you get social marketing and you get personalized support within four hours so that is also a very good feature now if you wanted to sell your items on jimdo it's very easy you just have to link your items and add them to your jimdo store but jimdo will take a cost out of you because if you want to create your e-commerce platform you're gonna have to pay jimdo 15 dollars per month and that will include all basic shop features and your export orders and if you want a business version of their e-commerce store or online store if you pay $19 you're going to have product variants you're going to have social marketing and you're going to have social selling as well so I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're able to create your Jimdo website and I will catch you guys in the next video